Welcome back Focus Fanatics. In this video I'm going to show you a couple quick tips on how to clean up and manage your menu item database, right? So after a couple years we get items that maybe we never used, uh, maybe we never had, maybe they were added incorrectly, maybe they were just there for a day, maybe we've got items that aren't reporting to the proper report group, uh, maybe there's items that aren't being applied to a certain discount because of the way we're uh, managing our menu items. So there's some things you can do in your menu item database to solve some of this stuff. So the first thing I would recommend is that you go into your menu item database and you hit find and you go ahead and find all your unattached items. Now this is going to show you all your unattached items that are not assigned to automatic canvases. So this is not a good tool if you're using automatic canvases. But if you're not using automatic canvases and all your canvases are custom, um, what you can do is you can go into your other options tab here and it'll show you what canvases these are on, right? So my online comment um, is not on any canvas. My anchovies uh, are on an automatic canvas, not a manual canvas. Let's see what else we have here. I've got a lot of pizza stuff here. My bins, these are my wines. These are on an automatic canvas, so I wouldn't want to get rid of those. But this will help you find items that you know, deep dish 10 inch, this is on automatic canvas 125, I'm probably not using it, so I can go ahead and get rid of this menu item. Okay, so yours, this is our demo database, there's kind of a lot of junk in here, I've got 549 items, a lot of it's extra pizza toppings. Um, but you can go through here and it'll show you all the items that you're not using. And just be careful that you don't, you know, delete anything that's on an automatic canvas. So go to this tab and check it out. Uh, also remember some things you might not be on a canvas but you might be using them and you don't know about it so you do want to be careful only delete items in here that you see you're just certainly not using okay so I'm going to close out of here and go back into my menu items and the second thing that we can do and this is a uh, really important thing with focus is we have this great find tool Okay, so we can go find, and I can go, I want to find everything on Canvas Beer. And now I can quickly go through and know that I have 27 menu items. Okay, I can also go find everything on Canvas Beer that is set to report group. Beer. I guess that's everything that sets report group beer and on that canvas. So let's just go, let's go find everything on canvas beer. And we can quickly go through and make sure that all of these are set to the correct report group. Right, so I'm just scroll through these real quick and make sure they're all set to the proper report group, and they are. Um, and, and a lot of times we get people that they add a bunch of items and they don't add them properly. So if I go and I look at, let's say, Canvas Fast Food. And I can look through my items and make sure uh, chicken combo set to burgers. Maybe I don't want to do that. Uh, you know, just go scroll through your items and make sure ice cream set to miscellaneous. Should that be set to dessert? Uh, and I think you'll be surprised. Onion ring set to snack. I think you'll be surprised on how many kind of oddities that you have in your database. And you really want to clean those up because if you're doing a promo on buy one get one free burgers, you're going to want to go set your menu item filter for my BOGO burgers and I'm going to say I want this to be report group burgers and if I have something not assigned to my report group burgers or I have something that's not a burger assigned to report group burgers then now my discount's not going to be very accurate, right? So you, you really want to make sure that your database is clean all your report groups are set properly, et cetera, so that you can, you know, manage your menu properly. 
some other tricks you can use is you can actually, so we have these sort groups, right? So we have sort group BG. So if I go find, if I go into find and I go to sort group BG and I find all these menu items, it's going to show me all the items that are set to BG. Okay, so your sort group can be sort of a filter down from your burger. It could also be a filter down from, let's say, your alcohol. So we might go and do find report group. liquor and maybe for all my vodkas I'm going to have a sort group VK and these are case sensitive so you can get a lot of combinations in here absolute Belvedere VK so now if I just want to find my vodka I can go to find and I can do VK and hit find and it's only going to show me my vodka, assuming that every time I add a vodka item, I put sort group BK. Okay, you can even take it another step further if you wanted to. And let's go back and find all of our liquors. And do well vodka, so I'm going to do this VK, but I can have my well vodka set to concept one for all my well drinks. I could have my Smirnoff set to vodka concept two for my call, and maybe I have my Belvedere set to concept three for premium, right? So now I can go find all my vodka that's set to concept three. And I can, I can save these down here. The top one we can't save, but I, you know, you get the point. And I find it, and now I'm only going to find my Belvedere, right? So I narrowed it down to vodka. Then I narrowed it down to the type, not the type of vodka, but the, the quality, I guess, if you want to put it that way. And what you can do is you can run reports based on these menu item filters, right? So now I can go into my report, and if I want to, I can run my premix report. Based on just that filter that I created, which is just my, you know, premium vodkas, right? So sort key VK, concept three. So now I've got premium PMIX report for just for vodka. But here's the cool thing. So now if I go back into my menu item database and I go find my Premium, you know, I can I can set all of my let's let's just go look at our liquor again. You know, let's say Bacardi is going to be concept two, and Beef Eater is going to be concept two, and. Maybe Bombay Sapphire is going to be concept three for premium. You know, every bar is a little bit different on what they consider well call and premium. So anyway, now I can go create a PMIX report just on my premium liquors, on my call liquors, on my well liquors. I can run contest reports based on those menu item filters. There's lots of things I can do if I'm using my database correctly and creating my menu item filters properly. But you can't do a lot of those fun things if you don't have your database nice and clean. Okay, so use some of these tricks to, uh, you know, help manage your database. And I hope this tech tip benefits you and your customers. And until next time, stay focused.